Hi, it's Nikki. Today we're going to do a full manual lymphatic drainage treatment from head to toe. So let's get started. We're going to start first on our terminus and just do a little bit of pumping here. Now any of these you can extend to 30 seconds at each area if you have a lot of issues with drainage in your body. Next we're going to take V fingers and we're going to work in front of our ears and behind our ears. I like to do anywhere from 10 on up. Then we're going to take our thumbs and our index fingers and lightly rinse across the face. And like I said, if you have a lot of drainage issues, especially underneath the eyes, you can take this out as well. Now we're going to rinse from the forehead back to the back of the neck. Great. Now we're going to work back the front again. I'm kind of going in opposite direction. Back to the ears. Down the neck. Great. Now we'll work the upper torso. We're going to start with just the flat part of our hand and work over to where the clavicle meets the shoulder. We'll just work this side first. Then we're going to hook our hand underneath the arm and just kind of pulse up. Now we're going to embrace underneath our elbow. And then we'll work either side of the hand. going to work our way back up to the elbow, kind of drain this all down, back to underneath the arm, we're also pulling up, and then back across the clavicle. Now we'll work this side of the body. underneath the arm. You can put your arm down too if you'd like. Just kind of squeezing up. And then underneath the arm, right at the elbow, just kind of embracing the elbow. working the hand. So we're just using this fatty part of the skin in between the index finger and the thumb there. Turning the hand around, getting the other side. Now let's wash that back to the elbow. And then underneath the arm again. And then over to clavicle, or where the clavicle meets the shoulder.
Now we'll work the lower torso. We're just going to come on either side, the thymus. Just kind of give it a little bit of a jiggle, making it all the way down. Then we're going to find the distance between the, the ribs and the belly button and just kind of pulse up. And then moving in a clockwise to you direction around the belly button. Then hands up and down, right where the panties meet there. And then find your tendon and massage up in front of it. And behind it. And then we're going to come behind the knee with both hands. Like I said earlier, you can do this up to 30 seconds in each place. Now we're going to come down to around the ankle, start behind the ankle, and just kind of massage upwards until you get to the front of the ankle, and then massage back. Try to wash it up to the knee. Back up. We could go behind the tendon again and in front of the tendon. And then on that side. And now we'll do this side again. In front of the tendon. And behind the tendon. And then we'll go to our knee, both hands. We're basically taking those bottom, the uh, middle ring and pinky as we keep the thumb and the index finger kind of more towards the top. Back down to the ankles. Rinse it back up to the knees. Back up to the thigh, rinse behind the tendon, in front of the tendon, and go back to this area again, kind of lifting up. Find between the belly button and the ribs. We're going to get the sacrum in the back. And then we're going to come back to the terminus and end our session. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like it and subscribe to my channel and share with those who may benefit from the information. Remember to check the description for any contraindications. Check with your doctor before starting this treatment.